Hello and welcome to Look East. In the programme tonight. Are you ready for the digital switchover? It gets underway tonight. Now, when it comes to watching television, there is a big change afoot. The digital revolution here in the west of the region begins this week. As of tomorrow, BBC Two will only be available as a digital channel. Well, Clive Lewis is here to explain. Clive, uh, well, firstly, who's going to be affected by this? Well, that depends on what kind of equipment you've got. Now, if you get your TV pictures from a satellite provider like Sky or Freesat, um, or a cable supplier like Virgin, you will not be affected by these changes. However, if you already have Freeview, at some point tomorrow, you will need to retune your receiver. It's a relatively simple process. Uh, and if you need any help doing it, you can contact the number that's on the screen now. Now, the vast majority of viewers will fall into those two groups, but there are some people who still have analog TVs. Now, if you're one of those people, you will lose BBC Two tomorrow. Simple as that. If you are one of those people who is about to lose that channel, is there anything that you can do about it now? Well, firstly, you could go and get yourself a Freeview digital box. Cost about a tenner from some of the shops now. Um, alternatively, and it will take a little longer, you can sign up to Sky or Freeview or a cable provider. Um, but before you rush out and buy one of those packages, I would suggest you check to see whether you're eligible for the um, BBC Digital Help Scheme. Now, what that does, uh, that will provide, if you're over 75 or disabled, the chances are you'll be, in, you'll be entitled to some kind of help. You'll get free digital equipment, free installation, and you'll also get a backup support service for up to a year after it's been installed. Curveball for you, Clive. What about if you've got a, a DVD recorder or <laughs> even a VHS player? If even anybody's got like me, left, like you Janine. mean? <laughs> yeah. You need to get some new kit. Um, <laughs> that depends. Well, it, once again, it depends on what kind of equipment you've got. If you've got the digital ready uh, DVD recorder or player, the one with the little tick on it, you're fine, no problems. But if you've got an old style DVD recorder or video recorder, then you'll still be able to watch films on it and you'll still be able to record on it. But what you won't be able to do is record one channel and watch another. That will end. Okay. Clive, thank you very much. It all sounds extremely straightforward. Thank you. Well, not everyone, though, is getting that digital switchover. And oddly, it's residents in our newest town who will be missing out. Most urban areas in Milton Keynes will not be affected by digital switchover because of a row over the cable TV system. Wasi well, Mirza explains. In the 70s, it was state-of-the-art. Today, this cable TV network remains on analog signals because of a dispute between the owner, BT, and the firm leasing it, Virgin Media. That's left many here worried about the future. Originally, when we moved to Milton Keynes, we all had uh, the uh, set-top box in our sitting room, and yeah, it offered quite a range of channels. It just needs a bit of... Um, modernisation and some way of being able to carry the digital signal to allow customers to actually take full advantage of it. Milton Keynes sits on a sloping hill with a valley to the north and the east. And there's also a narrower valley running through the centre of town. When you add that together with all these trees, it all makes life very difficult for picking up a reliable TV signal. We solved that by putting in what was then state-of-the-art analog cable. The problem is now that we're going digital, the analog cable is out of date and BT who own it and Virgin Media who rent it are for one reason or another at odds and residents and businesses in Milton Keynes, in my judgment, are stuck in the middle. In a statement, Virgin Media said there will be no disruption to TV services during digital switchover but we've been in ongoing dialogue with our network provider to look at the best way forward. We hope to be able to deliver broadband and our next generation TV service as soon as we can. But due to the unique situation in Milton Keynes, we're unable to commit to any dates. BT refused to provide a statement, but added, we never comment on commercial arrangements between BT and our customers. The council has made, um, as far as we understand, great strides to um, basically broker uh, a solution between the uh, various companies that can can resolve this matter. They're not uh, actually in a position to do this themselves and they may need um, regulatory support to do that. The council says it could look to Ofcom to resolve the dispute over who should upgrade the cable network. Virgin Media says its customers should wait to be upgraded to a digital service. But it could be a long wait 
until the landlord and the renter both agree to carry out the work. Wasim Mirza, BBC Look East, Milton Keynes. Wasim Mirza reporting. And let's just give you that Digital UK helpline website and phone number again. It's all the W's, digitaluk.co.uk, or you can call the number. It's 08456 50 50. A quick reminder, the digital switchover does begin this evening. We don't want you losing BBC Two. If you've got any questions, the number's on the screen now. 08456 50 50 50 is the number to call. That's it. It is. From us, have a very good evening. Bye for now. Bye. -bye.